Hello everyone, let's dress the elephant in the room. Yes, I got plastic surgery, I looked like a soulless little potato before, so I guess you could say this is an improvement. With that out of the way, let's get on with this summer barn vlog. For many people, summer means long days at the beach, sleeping in, shorts. For equestrians, it means fly spray, sweaty breeches, and scrambling to keep the horses cool, which is just what was in store for me today. On this particular morning, I woke up bright and early at 6 a.m. sharp. I actually was able to have a slower start because it was the one day of the week I didn't instruct the morning lessons. Also, a little side note, I am in a new house. I moved out of Aideen's Plaza and into the cutest little house in the Silvery Wade Village, which makes my commute so much shorter and I am absolutely loving it here so far. Anyways, I obviously had to take advantage of this gift of time to have breakfast at the local cafe that serves the most delicious breakfast foods. And of course, it wouldn't be a vlog if I didn't share with you guys what I had here. I had the most delicious cinnamon roll with a cup of hot coffee. I know, I should have gone for the iced. I'm not usually much of a coffee drinker, but I'm really hoping it'll perk me up for the rest of the day as I'm feeling pretty sleepy from all the sun. It was nearly 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It was only 7 a.m. So it was bound to get hotter as the day went on, which was bad news for me because I am certainly more of a cold weather person. The ponies were sleepier than usual when I got there and I could definitely relate. Although they still found it in themselves to encourage me on so I could feed them quicker. I started feeling more energetic as I went on with my chores, which was a surprise because most of the time it is the complete opposite and I get more tired as I go on. I suspect it was the coffee in my system, but who knows. I was starting to get excited though because I had planned a beach ride for my horse buggy and I over at the Moreland Shore, so I was pretty motivated to finish my routine to go get him ready. And then it was time, so before we headed off, I gave him a cool bath and a quick groom because he was so very dusty. And to no surprise, he did dry off before we hit the sandy beaches in Moreland, thanks to this incredibly hot weather. I got him tacked up in this super cute tack set, which was so adorable on him. Green is definitely his color. So I put my helmet on, and I met up with one of my good friends, Hannah. And without further ado, we were riding on the beach. I find it so cute that Buggy always gets super excited when we come here, which is not that often. It's always such a special occasion for him. In the summer, I try to come out as much as possible, but it is such an already busy time with shows and it being peak lesson season, so we really have to enjoy our time here as much as possible. Sometimes he can be a bit pushy when he's feeling energetic, so this slow canter turned into a slow gallop, which turned into a very, very speedy gallop. I gotta love him, but my heart was literally in my throat. It was exhilarating, yet very terrifying, but he must have been feeling himself because he was just going for it. And as much as I would have loved to stay out there all day, I had things to do, horses to ride back home, so we wrapped up our beach ride and went back to the barn to exercise some more horses. Another way I make part of my income is by training and working with my clients' horses. Most of the horses that are being boarded at our barn get exercised by me a couple of times a week, which can sometimes be a pretty daunting task on my end because today that meant exercising six horses, not including my own. Here I am riding Kit Kat, who is the sweetest little bay mare. She is one of the few ponies I get to ride anymore, so it always takes me back to my earlier riding days whenever I get the opportunity to work with her. And she is at somewhat of the beginning of her education, so she is a bit wobbly and green still. I can't use the excuse that she has baby brain. She is 13, supposedly. Her owners did rescue her from a horse auction, so not much is known about her history. I would say she learns at a slower pace, so I've been really taking a lot of time with her, giving her a really solid foundation. My main focus today was getting her nice and supple, which I've been struggling with with her, but overall, I feel like we had a good session. 
Domino was my next victim, and he is this very striking gelding with a very laid back personality. A little too laid back, it's actually something we're working on with him because whenever I ride him, he just tends to mosey along and he needs a lot of motivation to get him a more forward gait. I am working on getting him stronger and I find pole work is great for that, so we worked on that a lot today. Although it is a marathon and not a race, I definitely feel like he is progressing. Next up was Teddy, and it was starting to cool off just slightly, so I decided to take him out to the indoor arena and exercise him over some jumps. This horse has got scope, as you guys can probably tell. After training a buggy for so long, it's really fun to ride a horse that just knows what he's doing and can take himself over jumps almost on autopilot. This is the final horse I'll be showcasing today, and I always feel like it is such an honor to ride him. He's got some seriously fancy moves, and he's incredibly well-trained in dressage. He actually spent some time at the Jorvik Stables last year, getting extensive training there, and since then, he has just been such an amazing horse, especially in the show ring. He's got so much promise. He's one of those horses where he's so well trained he's hard to ride because his buttons are super sensitive, which can be tricky at first, but with time you learn what he responds best to. Overall, he's super smart and I definitely say he's one of my favorite horses to work with. After a sweaty, exhausting afternoon of exercising horses, it was time to blow off some steam, so with the food I had packed in the morning, I took a picnic and settled down on this quiet little hill that is actually part of our pastures. It was a very quiet moment without any horses, until it wasn't. One of the horses came up to say hello and also to say, give me a snack. I very generously gave him my apple to keep the peace, and he hung out with me for the remainder of the time I was eating my lunch, which I thought was very sweet. At last, I was able to change into some shorts and a tank top because I had no more horses to ride, which was so refreshing. But that didn't mean I was done with horses, I still had my mare Autumn to get out and work around. Despite the heat, she seemed to be feeling kind of spicy as she gave me a little buck at the beginning, which is not a surprise for this girl because she tends to have some spunk and she's just a very forward horse overall. I really like getting her on the lunge every now and again because it really helps her suppleness and it helps her engage her hindquarters. It also provides a different perspective for me and I can really get a good look at how she's moving. Overall, it's a great thing to do to develop my relationship with her without having to be in the saddle. Autumn has actually been quite a busy lady lately. We've been out eventing lots lately this summer and she has been doing amazing. It makes me super happy to see her so bold and confident in the show ring. Recently, I let a younger girl named Abby take her out to a local jumping show at Steve's farm where they brought in second place. It just made me feel like I trained her right, seeing someone less experienced do so well on her. Abby's parents mentioned they were in the market of looking for a horse to care lease and that they think Autumn would be the perfect fit for her. As my schedule gets busier, it does get more challenging to find time to ride her and I have been wanting to take in some more projects lately. Abby and Autumn are such a perfect match, so I feel like they would be great together if Abby were to lease her out. I'm pretty thrilled for Autumn to experience so many more new things with this new situation, and I think that they both will learn so much from each other. My final to-do for the day was to meet the vet to check out my oldest mare, Flamey, who is 28 this year, which I just cannot believe. For anyone who doesn't know, she is navicular, which is a type of lameness in horses, and she has been really struggling with it lately, especially as she gets older. So we had the vet out for a checkup to see how we can make her more comfortable. We're just going to put her on some more supplements and I'm really hoping that'll make her feel better because she is just the sweetest horse and it hurts my heart to not see her doing her best. Well everyone, that is my little summer vlog for you guys. Today was hectic. My schedule is always so chaotic in the summer as that's show season and also lots more students take lessons in their free time so it can get pretty busy. But I wouldn't rather be doing anything else with my time and I love getting the opportunities to go do fun activities like going on rides at the beach and working with some incredible horses. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Please do like and subscribe if you all enjoyed the video. I always appreciate it. I will see you all next week. Bye everyone. The skies are so clear with you. I want to stay with you. With you. I love the